good morning students so today we have to discuss about all the classes of vertebrates in the previous class we have already discussed about the features of the vertebrates so let's start with the classes of vertebrates vertebrates are divided into five classes and these classes are physis that is fishes then amphibia then reptilia then apes and mammals so these are the classes of five basic classes of vertebrates so we will discuss now the characteristic feature of all these classes so if you will see the evolutionary tree the fishes appeared first then the amphibians then reptiles then birds and mammals so mammals are the most evolved class of vertebrate whereas the fishes or the pisces is the least evolved class of vertebrates okay so fishes we will see the comparative features of all these five classes fishes have fins for locomotion amphibians have four pentadactyl limbs for locomotion pentadactyl it means five fingered limbs four limbs it means two upper limb and two lower limb the upper limb is known as the fore limb and the lower limb is known as the hind limb okay and in between the fingers they have a fold of skin and this fold of skin is known as patangium which helps them to swim in water whereas when they are adult so they are turning into frog like amphibian example is frog so their hind limbs are longer and stronger so they can hop on the land and move from one place to another place so this is how the amphibians and they it means both they are found or they are able to survive or adapt in both land and water whereas the fishes they have two pair of fins okay the fin present near the mouth is known as pectoral fin and the fin present near the tail is known as pelvic fin and they have tail okay so these three that is the pectoral fin and the pelvic fin helps in the motion while the tail fin helps in the changing of direction while it is swimming or moving in water reptiles also have four pentadactyl limbs whereas in birds that is class apes there is four pentadactyl limbs two upper limbs are modified into wings in case of mammals we are the examples of mammals so mammals have four pentadactyl limbs then the another feature on the basis of the lungs or gaseous exchange so fishes have gills for the exchange of gases okay so this gills will be able to filter out the dissolved oxygen from water and through the gills only the carbon dioxide will be released in water so gills helps in exchange of gases whereas in amphibians they have simple lungs with small internal folds and they have moist surface so case of in case of amphibians they show three modes of exchange of gases one is through the lungs which is in the adult form of the amphibians another is the skin that is moist skin and that respiration is known as cutaneous respiration the respiration through the lungs is known as alveolar respiration and also they have gills that is the external gills in their tadpole stage okay as well as they also perform buccal respiration that is the respiration through mouth so four different modes of respiration or gaseous exchange is found in case of amphibians whereas reptiles are completely terrestrial so they have the lungs for the exchange of gases in case of birds they have the aerial mode so they have the lungs with parabronchial tubes for the exchange of gases and in our case that is in mammals we have lungs with alveoli which helps in the exchange of gases now about the reproduction 
in case of fishes here they have external fertilization and why external fertilization they release the eggs in water egg is jelly like okay and the sperm is also released over the egg outside the body the fertilization takes place outside the body and this is known as external fertilization in case of amphibians also they have external fertilization their egg is jelly like and that egg gets fertilized outside the body larval stage that is the tadpole stage of the frogs is found in water in case of reptiles the fertilization is internal but they reproduce by laying eggs so two terms one term is oviparous okay o v o v i p a r o u s so the organisms which reproduce by laying eggs are known as oviparous and the organisms which reproduce by giving birth to their young ones is known as viviparous okay so in case of all classes of vertebrates out of these five classes four are oviparous so birds reptiles amphibians and fishes they all have oviparous mode of reproduction but the mammals will have the viviparous mode of reproduction because they give birth to their young ones and they have the mammary gland to secrete milk and internal fertilization takes place then the other feature on the basis of the skin so on fishes since they are found in water so their body is covered with scales and this scales prevent them from the decomposition inside water and they have a single glidal slit and they have swim bladder which provides buoyancy and helps them to swim in water amphibians have soft and moist skin whereas in case of reptiles like lizards you must have seen in case of lizards or uh, reptiles they have dry scaly impermeable skin and the teeth no living tissue in teeth they don't have any living tissue in case of birds the feathers are growing from the skin and beak have no teeth but in case of mammals they have hairs we have hair on the skin and our teeth has living tissue that is why we can feel toothache then about the heart the fishes have two chambered heart that is one atrium and one ventricle then amphibians have partially divided three chambered heart okay reptiles have three chambered heart birds have four chambered heart and mammals have four chambered heart now on the basis of their temperature regulation so there are two types of animals that is ectothermal and endothermal okay ectothermal organisms and endothermal organisms the organisms which regulates their body temperature or the an organisms whose body temperature changes according to the surrounding temperature is known as ectothermal ectothermal are also known as poikilothermal whereas the organisms which have a fixed body temperature which do not change according to the surrounding temperature they are known as endothermal or homeothermal so birds reptiles out of these five classes pisces amphibians and reptiles they are ectothermal and the birds and mammals are endothermal that is warm blooded endothermal or warm blooded ectothermal or cold blooded okay so here is the five classes you can see they have gills over here this is the pectoral fin this is the pelvic fin this is the tail fin amphibians they have tympanum fore limb hind limb pentadactyl okay reptiles 
okay birds and mammals mammals this is the aerial mammal this is the terrestrial mammal and this is one aquatic mammal also the whale is the aquatic mammal okay the fishes are divided into two categories that is cartilaginous fish and bony fish so the fish whose endoskeleton is made up of cartilage is known as cartilaginous fish like this coleodon or the shark is the example of cartilaginous fish and the fishes whose internal endoskeleton is made up of bones they are known as bony fishes or ostic fish cartilaginous fishes is also known as chondritic fish okay example of bony fishes are trout and rohu clear so this one is a egg laying mammal echidna or a spiny ant eater this is the egg laying mammal it shows all the features of mammals they have external ear and all but they are egg laying so this is all for today your homework is to write down the features of all the classes of vertebrates with two example of each